guys this is Walter from the Wiz Club welcome to this tutorial and uh, in this tutorial I will be showing you how you can set up a multiple drop down filter for your Wix repeater I made it a tutorial before on how you can have two drop downs first of all the first one was one drop down and the and then the next one was two drop downs so if you haven't watched those videos I have left a link in the description below to so you can watch them and, and know how to do that Although I'm going to be explaining to you how I came about all of that, okay? So uh, the first thing you want to do is to turn on your Velo Dev mode. Mine is turned on, so you can turn yours on if it isn't, okay? So we're going to be making use of the Wix code uh, panel, okay? So as you can see in my code, this is the same code with the two drop down filter uh, tutorial that I made earlier. I am just uh, making use of the same template and the same code. I'm just going to add another line of code to this section to show you how this works. So before we continue, I want to show you how uh, what everything here means. So the first thing we're going to uh, use is the Wix data uh, from Wix data. Okay, so we're going to make use of Wix data. We're going to be getting data from our database and uh, in that database, um, how I did it first of all was to create a function called search so this search function i use wix data to query querying my uh, database id this is the database id which you can find when you click on this database icon and then look for your database name and then click on the edit and you can find your id right over here so i use the id and not the name okay so after i place the id uh, database id I looked for the value if it is found in the location field key uh, field of my database so this is the field key which is what you use in your code you use the field key of any field in your database and then I'm also using the value of my first drop down so that is the ID of my first drop down and I'm using the value and then um, I also added a second drop down for the cuisine and uh, I added the dot and which is there as query as well and i'm also looking for the uh value from the cuisine field using the cuisine field key and also using the drop down field uh, drop down id of my cuisine drop down then i initiate the find function and then the whatever result that is being found should be displayed in so the rest part of the code is for the reset button which i have labeled very well clearly for you to know what button it is and uh, i have also initiated a database self filter to show me all the items that is connected or uh, that are connected to the database or uh, through my data set so i brought my drop down element back to default okay so to continue with this tutorial i'm gonna add another drop down element right here okay so before we do that i'm just going to head over to my database to show you the field that i have created for the price range okay so here in my database i added another field called the price range so in that field i was trying to determine if the item or restaurant is cheap or expensive as you can see i have spread that across the field okay so i'm going to copy the um, field key from right here I'm gonna use that field key later on in my code and uh, as you can see I have cheap and expensive I have to make sure that my database are populated with these values exactly as they are because they are case sensitive so I'm gonna head back to the page and then duplicate these uh, drop-down element and I'm gonna drag that right across uh, my field section okay so that is perfect and I'm going to change the label to cheap and I'm also going to change the value which is what I'm uh, what the code uses to filter to cheap as well I'm going to do the same thing for the second option which is expensive and then the value as well to expensive okay so next I'm going to change the name uh, what the, la the label of the drop down says so I'm going to say filter by price all right so that makes sense now and we are all done okay so i'm gonna add drop down three which is the id from right here i'm gonna add it to the section to this next section of my code so i'm just going to um do again what i did here i'm just going to copy that uh maybe just write it over again so i'm gonna use the wix data.query 
and i'm also going to query my uh, database id so from here again i'm going to show you how to get the id of your database because that is what your code uses to filter all right so this is the id of your database you can just copy that right there and then paste it within your query so uh, that is where your query starts from so dot contains we're going to use dot, con dot contains and uh, i'm going to type in the field key that i got in earlier which is called price range and then the next thing i'm going to write is the id of the price range drop down which is drop down three so i'm just going to write in the uh, drop down id and i'm going to get the value of that okay so that is just as simple as that so if you want to add more drop down elements just copy this line of code and then just paste it below okay so just do that as multiple times as you want and you're good to go just make sure to change the field key and also the drop down id okay so when you do that you're good to go okay so let's test this out and see how that works so i'm just going to preview the website and then let's test it one after the other okay so when i click on london i can click the search and london will be filtered okay so all the items that have london as uh, a location will be found and next the ones with london plus the french would also be filtered so we have french 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 and london and then we're also going to determine if these uh prices are cheap or expensive to refine our search so as you can see this only one item has all the items being uh filtered right here so um this item matches our search okay so it has london it also has french as a cuisine and it is cheap as well so we can also search to see if there is any other item in london with a french cuisine that is expensive and uh, here so there are two items that matches our filter so as you can see we have london and we have french and it's expensive uh, as well as a second item okay so when you click on the uh, reset button so that that should clear um, the label of whatever is showing in our drop down so this isn't set yet we haven't uh, refined that yet and our repeater is back to default so we can add this uh, fit drop down to what should be re returned back to the default when the reset button is clicked okay so i'm just going to show you another juicy um, technique that you can use so before that remember that this is the reset uh, filter so i have labeled that you can find this code in the link in the description below so make sure to check it out and also preview this website okay so my uh, price range drop down is drop down three so i'm just going to change that Alright, so the next time we're going to uh, click on the reset button, the drop down value will be reset to the um, default uh, label that we have. Okay, so um, the technique that I have used here is that when you click on the search button, the uh, this search function would run. Okay, so this is the search function which matches this one. So everything within this field will run when we click on our search button. So I have added an on click event for search button all over here at the properties panel. Okay, so I'm going to show you another technique that you do not have to use or require a search button to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to copy these right here and uh, I'm going to hold on my control and the forward slash to comment that out. So I'm just going to add, uh, I'm going to use already function for this part. So in order to add um, one or two or more IDs for one function or one operation, we can add them together in one line of course. I'm going to show you how that happens. I'm just going to use my already function first of all. And then next, I'm going to call the IDs that I have used. So the first ID is drop down one. So my second ID, I'm just going to add the hash there and I'm going to copy the ID, which is for this one is drop down two. So make sure that your IDs are correct in order for this to work. And I'm going to add another comma and I'm going to add hash. And then for the filter by price, I'm also going to copy the ID right there and then paste it over here. All right. So I'm going to continue on with my unchanged event, which is what I'm going to write. So 
that is that so i'm done with the first um the most important part of this uh, tutorial and then next thing i'm going to do is to add my search function which as you can see is kind of dimmed out because it's not used which is an amazing uh feature that wix has actually added to develop by wix uh, shows you what functions or what variable that you aren't using yet so you re you remember to add them to your code if you miss that so i'm just going to copy them and paste it right inside my unchange event for the three drop down elements okay so this is how you call three drop down elements to um, perform one action or one function okay so next let's preview these and see if that works all right so within here we can start off with the location when you click or uh, when you choose london for example as you can see that filters out and uh, all the items with london are displayed then next for the cuisine when you click on the french so the bold items with london and french are filtered out so as you can see we have french we have french over here we have french and french and london so now we can choose also from our price if it's cheap or not all right so as you can see the three um values from our drop downs are added to um to show us what uh, what refined search we have performed all right so the london right here and we have french and we have that uh, is also cheap so let's find another item that has all three london french and it's expensive so as you can see uh what's what is displayed matches our filter so we can also choose worldwide to see if um, there are searches for worldwide french and expensive and as you can see yes we have worldwide we have worldwide and then french okay so um this is actually one of the easiest ways that you can perform uh, fi uh multiple filters in your wix website okay so this drop down element only requires you to add another drop down and then and all you have to do is just to duplicate the, the drop down element and then you can change the options in there the, the choices change the choices but make sure that the value itself is the same as what is in your database it has to be in the same alphabetical order and uh, case okay so next you're just going to change what placeholder text you have and uh, don't forget to um, copy this line all you have to do is just to copy this line over here just copy that and come down there paste it as many as you want okay all you have to do is just to make sure that your um, your restaurant or your database ID is correct for all three options and that your key your field key is also correct so go into your database field copy the field key and paste it right here and also make sure that your correct drop down is being added the id is being added okay so this is how you can perform multiple drop down filters in wix okay this is a very simple tutorial and uh, if you have any challenges in trying to get this to work you can always uh, leave a comment below if you have any ideas or uh, recommendations on what video you want you can always let me know in the comment section okay this means a lot to me and i want to hear what you have to say or what suggestions that you have to give all right so thank you very much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed i encourage you to do that i always want to bring out the best videos for you and i don't want you to miss that opportunity all right so also hit the like button if you love this video and then see you in the next video